Keep it going for Travis. You guys are great. Having fun. Uh, I'm having fun because this is one of the only comedy shows I've performed at in a long time where my mom wasn't in the front row. <laughs> my mom lives in New York City, uh, and she comes to almost every one of my comedy shows, which is cool, she supports what I do, but she comes, sits in the front row literally at every show she comes to with her arms crossed. <laughs> just sort of angry with stone on the comedians. <laughs> not laughing at any jokes. And at the end of the, at the, end of the show, she'll come up to me and be like, that was very funny. <laughs> I was doing a show recently, my mom hadn't seen me in a bit, I wrote some new jokes, I was kind of excited for my mom to come check me out, right? So I'm hanging out at the bar before the show started, whatever, hanging out, and I got a weird text message from my mom, you guys. I'm going to share this text message with you right now. <laughs> hanging out, got a text message from my mom that said this. Don't worry about it, Robbie, you're going to get a lot of money back in your taxes from Wisconsin. <laughs> Weird, because my name's not Robbie. <laughs> Don't know taxes in Wisconsin. So I was like, oh, I guess that text message wasn't for me. Aw, mom's in phones. Don't know you your phone. LOL. It's cute. It's adorable, right? It's cute. Uh, just returned, just hanging up with, before the show. 20 seconds later, guys, the plot fucking thickens. You get a second text message from my mom. This one's even bad. The second text message from my mom says this, come over and run on tread or in park, then take a nap. <laughs> no, not going to Lucas's comedy show either tonight, just can't handle that. Oh. Hilarious. <laughs> text message from my mom saying she just couldn't handle my comedy, you guys. Kinda hurt my feelings. My first impulse was to write her text back, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck you, mom, I hate your mom. I was like, wait, Lucas, you're 30 years old, you got a beard, you're bald, and you've outgrown the fuck you, mom text. <laughs> Said her something back a little bit more mature. So what I wrote her back was this. Ha ha, guess you didn't mean to send me that. Maybe you owe me an apology, question mark, wink, thumbs up emoji. <laughs> okay. And she wrote me back, who is this? <laughs> it felt great, you guys. My mom's bad with technology, my dad is also terrible with technology. My dad is in his 70s now, and he's in that last wave of people just signing up for Facebook, right? He signed up for Facebook about a couple months ago. Uh, got a friend request from my dad, it was in my email. It was like, friend request, Alan Kaiser. And I clicked accept, and I was like, this is me. I uh, clicked through to my dad's profile. When I clicked through to my dad's Facebook profile, what I saw there was literally the most depressing profile on Facebook. <laughs> my dad's Facebook profile has three things on it and three things only. His name, Alan Kaiser. Current city, Phoenix, Arizona. Relationship status, divorced. That's it. <laughs> no list of hobbies, no list of favorite books or movies, no picture of his face in the corner. <laughs> After I accepted my dad's friend request, he called me on the phone. I answered the phone, I was like, hey, what's up? My dad was like, hey, I saw you accepted my friend request. I'm on Facebook now. Maybe I can meet a lady on there. I was like, oh no, Dad, I don't think your pitch is real strong. <laughs> it's like, hey, what's up? Ladies interested in men named Alan Kaiser, sight unseen. <laughs> you might have noticed by my relationship status that I'm currently available. <laughs> deeply, deeply available. That's what divorce means. I was like, Dad, your Facebook profile is way too depressing. Put up something, put up at least a picture. And my dad's like, you're right, I'll put up a picture. I'm like, put up a picture. And my dad's like, you're right, I'll put up a picture. So my dad put up a picture of my sister's boyfriend. <laughs> who's a black gentleman. <laughs> and I was like, Dad, why, why did you do that? And my dad's response was, that was the only picture I had on my computer. <laughs> That's 
the only picture on his computer. He must have a really lonely desktop. <laughs> Just a couple of files and a picture of my sister's boyfriend. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you this, uh, I just started seeing a new doctor, uh, my new doctor, he's a cool guy, kind of a cool dude, long hair, beard guy, he's kind of from a bra, he's alright, but my doctor's kind of shy, that's fine, uh, and I was getting a general checkup, physical, and that was fine, it's shyness, it was whatever, uh, except when it came time for him to check my testicles uh, for testicular cancer, because then his shyness made shit kind of weird, you guys. <laughs> We just finished, you know, checking my flexibility, my blood pressure, we'll put the blood pressure, sorry, or whatever, we're doing all that. And my doctor sits me down, he looks at me, and he goes, all right, take off your bones. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, excuse me? <laughs> take down your bones. <laughs> like, what? To take down your bones and shorts. I'm like, oh, okay. So I took down my boxer shorts, right? At which point, my doctor turned his back to me, swear to fucking God, <laughs> reached his hand out like this, and did this. You're fine. You're, you're fine. Pretty fucking awkward, guys. I could feel the awkwardness in the room, there was like some awkward tension, so I chose to break that awkward tension and the way any comedian would by making a joke. So uh, he turned around, I looked him in the eyes, and I went, All right, doctor, show you mine, now you show me yours. <laughs> Keep in mind, my underwear is still around my ankles. <laughs> my doctor did not laugh at that joke, you guys. The awkwardness persisted. Uh, so I chose to, to break that awkwardness by going, uh, Hey doctor, I'm sorry about that, uh, it's just that I'm a comedian. To which my doctor responded by looking me in the eyes, pulling up my underpants for me, and going, Not allowed to see that doctor anymore, you guys. <laughs> Where's my time? I can give it up to